Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Just yeah. be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got a arm. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Hey, thought he had the power, no. Beat him by a 50 piece. Use a skill, watch him beat. That's another picky D. Doing everybody bad. Boy, you getting victimized. And know them ain't no juke moves. You just getting stick alive. The game ain't even started yet, but you already shook. Got a bad library in now, watch him throw a book. Wow. Cap it like new era, boy, you tripping. What he thought he on? Big dog status, you a pup. Sorry, doggy bone. Ayy, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Ayy, making every quarterback look like they got an arm. And the defense got it covered like stay bomb. Ayy, ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Smash the like button, bro. I'm going to be on Twitchy Poo today, man. I'm sorry, y'all. I'll be on Twitchy Poo today about 3.30, 4 p.m. Eastern time. My baby girl wanted a movie, so we watched the movie instead. You know what I'm saying? Y'all definitely not getting priority over my baby girl. Shut your mouth, man. W father over here. PS5 Next Gen CFM franchise starting up. 21 to get in, non-refundable. 400 to the winner, 100 to the runner-up. Um, let me know if you're trying to get in because I'm, I'm not going to chase y'all for that, bro. But make sure y'all boys check to make sure y'all subscribe, smash that like button, and enjoy these banger of a videos on God for you, man. Peace. What's happening, doggy bone, man? Unk got y'all back, man. We, we, Hey, look, for all my mutt heads, man, head over to utnights.com, bro. And use code form for 6% off all your muck coin needs, man. It's simple. Go ahead over there. Click on how many coins you want, bro. 200 coins for $11. Hit that pay now. Slide over there and use code form and get your muck coins on, doggy bone. Stop being broke out here, man, and build the God squad that you deserve. The God squad Jesus wants you to have, man. Again, utnights.com for all of your muck coin needs, man. Use code form and help me get this little Skrilla, man. Bitch, shed that booty meat. That booty meat. That booty meat. That booty meat. Bitch, booty meat. All up on me. <laughs> B double O T Y M E A T U no dash spell booty me. Man, dog, big soldier was out here, man. Oh, damn, the game just started, man. What the hell, doggy bone? We back, man. On the Madon, bro. I was in problem stream. And problem was playing Soldier Boy, man. And, and booty meat came on, man. Classic song, man. For real. Booty meat is a classic. But we are playing our goer. Um, if you play Mutt, you know what I'm saying? If You've probably seen his name before. He be uh, dabbling in the community, in the comp, uh, in the comp community. Um, FNF. Uh, he has tried. He hasn't made no live events, but he does uh, compete MCS style. You feel me? And, and we had, and we, we matched up on uh, I don't think this was Wakan League though. Let we going this might have been Wakan League. Or it might have been all Madden head to head season. This was all Madden head to head seasons. For y'all who don't know, I only play all pro when I'm streaming on Twitch. Any other time I'm in all Madden head to head seasons or I'm in the Wakan League, you know what I'm saying? Because I, that's that's where I'm be at. And, and I'm going to keep it above. Argo is low-key hell. Comment down below if you played him, bro. Or, as a matter of fact, comment down who is the toughest nigga you didn't play on a Madon, man. Because I'm going to keep it a thigh wide with y'all. A lot of y'all have no clue. And y'all told me this. Y'all don't. Uh, what is your definition of comp? Because I've, I've come to find out mine is different from a lot of other people. We've had this conversation as we run that QB draw. My offense is beautiful, bro. I've created... You know what I'm saying? Another off-meta offense, off-meta defense, and it allows me to compete with some of the best people on the game. But yeah, I found out my definition of um, comp is different from everybody else's. Like, to me, comp is the people who, who compete uh, is, is pros and people who compete against pros on a daily basis and they are able to compete 
and beat pros. They may not be live event skill, but that's what I thought. That To me, that's what comp was. And then some dudes told me comp is just, ooh, look at that. McNabb, the best QB in the game. If you're watching this video, I will be live on Twitch today at probably about 3.30 p.m. Eastern. My bad. About not going live on Saturday. My daughter won a movie night, man. And I can't say no to my princess. But as you can see, Doggy Bone is back out here in the uh, PA boot over cheese. But the reason I was asking that, because one dude told me comp is legit a close game. He said that to him, that's what it means to be comp. That was a really good free form. He said, if you if you have a close game with somebody, you is calm. And I, and I was like, okay. Because, for, like, far be it for me to tell a nigga what comp is to him. You know what I'm saying? But then I asked him, I'm like, so if two people with a losing record, they're going to have a hell game. So if two people with a losing record play each other, that's considered a comp game? And Doggy Ball said, yeah. So I'm like, oh, all right, then. You wrong. <laughs> you wrong. But but in all, you know what I'm saying, that's just Doggy definition. You know what I'm saying? And I and that made me interested. Look at this, y'all. That's when you know uh, your car might be a little outdated when he's not making that play. Woolen has been amazing for me, though. But, yeah, I did, that sparked my interest on what y'all definition of comp was. You know what I'm saying? Because I know this day and it, it differs for everybody. But both get the gameplays you're going to see today, all comp, uh, comp games. First game against Argoer, again, which you have all probably seen if you in that much seen. The second one against Chief Clamp, who is a wholehearted troll, bro. I remember his name because I remember I was in Civil Stream. I had went through Civil Stream to say what's up uh, after we played. And he was playing Chief Clamp, and Chief Clamp was up 14. And I guess the chat was going crazy because he was tweeting civil as they was playing. Oh, check the scoreboard, la, 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 la. You know what I'm saying? Why do I don't be in Twitch streams like that, man? I'm not that in twixt into the in, in, in the muck community like that, man. Loki, I'm not in twixt in no community for real besides my own. But right here, he's running a... Uh, all right, so he ran the weird overstorm. He ran overstorm, but it didn't look like it though. Well, well, uh, uh, nickel over, and he was running over oh, a lot of overstorm, but he didn't have the two linebackers stacked in the box. He would just have his user stack the other one over there to the left, and that's how he would matriculate that thing. So, like, right here, I've already decided Dog won't get the ball again. And if he does, it'll be minimum time and no timeouts. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take them TOs. I'm going to kick a FG. Well, actually, it was after this play. Because I, I don't think I had looked at his timeouts yet to realize Dog didn't really have none. So, yeah, it was after this. I'm like, oh, man, let me just try to get a quick touchdown. And then I'll run the ball if I don't get it. And then I miss the tug over there to uh, Devontae Adams. So right here, I'm like, I'm just going to run the ball. And then we'll kick three. When he get the ball, we'll blitz him till he die. And then we'll go into the half up 10-7. And then from that point, it's just about me getting one stop. And I feel like I'm good for, I'm good for a, a stop at least one. Regardless of level of competition, I feel like I can get me a stop. I can give me a little picky D's, you know what I'm saying? Saccharoni and cheese that end up in a fumble. I can get something. I'm good for something. And I'm going to keep it a bean with you. I pre-edited this video down to uh, whatever, how long it is. So I'm talking through this whole shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I didn't already pre-edited it down. So it's just raw, uncut talkativity in the vid. And I'm trying to figure out, I know, oh, if you want, to, I'm doing the PS5 Next Gen CFM. If you want in, I need to know ASAP. Make sure you're in the Discord. I'm not chasing niggas down. People keep asking me about it. I said I'd try to put it together. But if I don't have enough people, then we just not doing it. I'm not be messaging niggas, chasing niggas down for their buy-ins and none of that. It's $21, non-refundable, 400 to the winner, 100 to the runner-up. 
If you win your division, nigga, good for you. You not getting nothing because you don't deserve it. Since when do we give people stuff for winning their division? That like, what if your division got a lot of bums in it, and you think you finna get a a, a treat? <clears throat> Ain't no treats for 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 going ten and ten and seven. Low key, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I don't even like doing uh runner up prizes. Me personally, I feel like the winner of the of the league should get the whole five hundo. Yeah. But you know, people are ooh, just just get a runner up. Like, ooh, okay, so what he got he with the first loser. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all went to them schools, man, that uh gay or y'all participated in them weak in them weak ass sports that gave y'all participation trophies. I'm not a believer in participation trophies. I believe the winner won, everybody else lost. That's it. And a, and a lot of y'all soft and sensitive. I've been coaching 10 years, bro. I've been coaching this thing called hoop skip ball. I tell my kids the same thing. Me and my boy twin tell them, the only reason, like at the end of the year, if we don't win the ship that year, I let them know. The only reason y'all finna get these little medals and shit is because y'all parents paid for them, bro. If we gonna keep it a buck, y'all didn't really earn this. The only thing is earned is that championship trophy. Everything else was paid for, my boy. But go ahead, smile, and let's take pictures for your mom. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and some parents, they enjoy the honesty. Some parents agree. Some people don't send their kid back to me the next year. The next year, their kid be somewhere else, weak as hell, not learning about the game of hoop skip ball, and sitting on the bench. You feel me? Damn, did that become a rant about children? That's crazy. But coming back out, bro, uh, the goal is to get the quick seven and then put the pressure back on dog. As you can see, now he's going to like a typical overstorm look. That was actually really good adjustment. I had the C route. But once I seen how he was playing, I thought he had the C route manned up over top. So I, I checked back down to the slant route. So right here, I'm like, all right, he might give me the same adjustment. I'm looking C route. And then I'm, I'm I'm going back on the right side of the field, and then that's when I noticed the bomb right over top. Cromwell was uh, I want to say Cromwell was sitting in a deep half, or 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 uh, or of that nature. You know what I'm saying? So he didn't even see the streak run right past him until it was way too late. Now it's just about getting the stop, bro. He comes out in tight slots, and that's when I'm like, thank goodness, bro. I'ma bag this. I enjoy seeing tight slots on the field. It's a defense that I feel like I play very well. Of course, even if it's a defense you play well, of course you're going to get beat up on sometimes. So he comes out in the PA. Now, you notice how he's moving outside of the blitz. Let me uh, run it back, bro. When he moves outside of the blitz like that, especially against my defense, that gives it away his PA boot over. So now I'm, I'm, I'm PA booting over. I'm like, he probably going to throw a corner route on the field somewhere. So I'm outside third and to play the corner route. And then I'm sending the crib at him. Make you a quick read. We playing match coverage on that right side. So we take away everything and boom. You know what I'm saying? Very simplistic adjustments. Uh, same thing with last year. I was bagging a uh, bunch tight end last year. I'm still bagging bunch tight end this year. You know what I'm saying? Bunch tight end can be very effective, but we going to whoop ass against it, man. And then he decides, I hate you, and he quits out the game. And then that brings us uh, – watch this transition. See how my shit be breaking apart? I'm like that with the editing. You know what I'm saying? For real. Loki, I'm hella mid. But uh, right here, we go up against Chief Clamp. Like, I was – like, this one was uh, Madden All Seasons 2, I think. It might have been weekend league. I can't remember, bro. After this game, I think after this game, I went over. Yeah, this is weekend league. After this game, I went over that all oh, man head to head seasons to see if I could get a really good game against a high profile name. I'm gonna keep it a buck, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, after I play him, I'm like, yo, I might be able to get some good comp games today, bro. So right here he goes to that seam streak. This, I mean, the running back streak has uh, changed 
since the last update, it goes directly through the line, so we're going to take note of that. Right here, he mans him up, so I'm going to man up the tight end. I'm an outside third right there. Actually, I manned up Carmichael, and he goes with this corner route, but I got a uh, deep knockout. So we get him to a second down. Right here, he motions him out, so I'm, I'm like deep corner or a verticals right here, but let's just see what he does. So right here, it does end up being, I want to say that was Z-Spot. Yeah, that was Z-Spot. So I get him to a third and seven. Now I'm like, yo, if I can get a stop right here, get him to a fourth down, I, I, I'm going to bait his ass into making that throw to that running back right there. So uh, he ends up catching me on the corner route. He motions across the field again. We play really good defense. This time we go coverage, and we hit him as he throws. So now I'm like, all right, the coverage worked well, so now we finna go heavy coverage against Dog. He motions across again. I'm thinking corner route. So what I do, I run with the corner route again, man. He throws it, and we're right there, man. Bang, bang, play. That We should have got a pick animation, but it is what it is. Again, we're going to go. Um, right now, I'm conditioning him for coverage. I play street, three straight coverage down. I'm conditioning him to look for me to play coverage. Right there again, he throws it. Deep, deep knockout zone. So we get him to the fourth and down. Now I'm going to send pressure at dog. Now I'm going to send pressure. As you can see, he motions out. Burrs. So I'm, I'm playing just in case it's verticals. He tries to throw that quick wheel out of verticals. Um, I'm manning up the uh, tight end just in case it's that little wheel out of verticals. And then Plex is my responsibility. But... Even if it's that wheel route, Wilson's going to stay in this area and he's going to man it for a second, just enough time for the pressure to get there. My responsibility, and because I, I know that uh, running back streak is coming, I'm going to bait towards uh, Carmichael. Like, I'm going to take that away and then I'm going to jump back middle and try to get a pick ED. So you'll see right here, that's the setup. We're going to send the crib. Watch, I bait there, then immediately I get back to that uh, streak. I know that's his primary read because the first time when I sent Blitz on him earlier, he did not hesitate to go ahead and hit that. Right there, I was like, all right, Will and Time is coming to a close because he shouldn't have got hawked down right there. But I'm like, all right, cool. We got us a stop. Let's just get some points and let's get back on defense and try to get another one. You feel me? QB draw uh, off the Reezy. I want to say we're going QB draw again because QB draw works very well against Dollar. If your O line don't say fluff you, and, and they had said it at that time, so right here, I'm like, uh, let me try to cook up a little high dotty. I'm checking out his abilities. I see that Victor Green has acro, so I'm not even gonna play with him in in no drag situations even near him. And then he got it as his user. Dog, I got to go see what abilities that Victor Green, do he get acro discounted because that's clutch. So now we back out here. We're going to go coverage defense again because coverage seemed like it gave him the worst trouble. He tried to throw that on the run out the pocket. Come on now. Like, low-key, that's what I'm waiting for defensively. I'm hoping they drop uh, some Raiders corners. With like updated a uh, AP because I'm gonna keep it a buck. We're going. I'm going to be with, with with Charles Woodson for a very very long time. Like Charles Woodson is gonna be my corner for a hell of a long time as we send the heat at him. Because I, I keep it a buck. I really don't know what other corners that that's gonna drop for the Raiders for real. That's the one thing about the theme teams this year. You know what I'm saying? It's great to go theme team early in the year. It 100% is right there. This pissed me off because this nigga dove 30 feet early, man. Like, I really don't know if we, like when we going to get updated corners. So that's why for me this year, it is super important that I got my theme team started early. So that 2 plus speed can hold up. Right now, I got a 93 speed corner and a 92 speed corner. That's going to do me good for about another month. So right here, he throws up a book, and my boy Gilmore is right there, and we get the worst animation. We get the jump behind, and I paused it to let him know, you threw that book, my nigga? 
Uh, but yeah, so right now I'm waiting for that new safety to come in. That's going to be the user right here. We bag his ass up. He is about to throw in uh, double coverage. Now right here, I should not have gone man. Because Car uh, Carmichael is, uh, look at that shit, bro. Both my guys uh, ran into each other. And the stupid niggas ended up knocking him out of his man coverage. I thought that was a post route. That's why I came down on it user-wise, man. Ah, that one sucked. But coming back out again, it's just going to be a lot of uh, DB Fire 2 and Spinner. Same sh same stuff you always see, bro. By this point in the game, you should be well adjusted to what these dudes is doing on defense. Is you going to win every game against it? Just like he's offset on that left side? Cover four. Or maybe he's going to that cover four show two. Or is it cover six show two? Yeah, cover six show two. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, bro, like I keep telling everybody, y'all should be well adjusted to what dudes is doing defensively because when it comes to that upper echelon, or not upper echelon, but a lot of the cop players on Mutt, all of them running the same shit. All of them got some of the same adjusties going. So I don't really, like, I don't know what you uh, reside in Struggleville, USA. Population you so hard for, bro. Just pay attention to the tendencies. I'm not saying you're going to win every single game, Dougie Bone. But what I'm saying is if you just pay attention to the tendencies of the cop players that you are playing, It'll give you insight against what you're going to play the next time you play a comp player who's running the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be Overstorm, because let's keep it a buck. Um, most people like get their uh, defensive adjustments when they're running a lot of these metas from some, from, from some of the same pro players or some of the same people they watch. So if they're coming out in these joints, these overstorms and these dollars and they run in the same joints as everybody else you should have a good idea about what's coming right here claypool is my responsibility he goes to like i want to say what the hell was that was that bitch because that wasn't a regular corner route. Right? it was actually nice and at this point doggy bone starts quick hiking the hell out of me like like because when i'm getting my adjusties out it's a straight it's straight bagger trying nine thousand so he uh he starts quick hiking me. Big boy Adams, man, bag your little stank ass up. You ain't going nowhere. And, and I don't want to hear y'all mouth about why don't you use your control? Because I don't want to, bro. I don't want to. Why are you so worried about what I be doing, man? You gotta let that go for real. Again, wheel route. Like that that route right there is so saucy and hard to stop. I figured out how to stop it, but it, but that shit tough right here. Does what everybody else do. Throw some shit in coverage and hope that you get bailed out for it. So, again, right here is when I go cover four. What I should have done was walked uh, Rob Wilson down in the box because then he would not have been able to throw that. But I didn't walk him down, man. That was bad on me. So, again, right here, you're just going to play a little bit of that thing called defense. Try to get us a nice bagger trying 9,000 going. And boom, later boom. I wish uh, we would have did a better job of containing. But right here, I'm just going to blow up this run. I'm expecting a fullback dive. He goes to Tomlinson. Uh -uh. He going to go right back to the same thing. We going to shoot directly in. Blow that up. You feel me? You not? Oh, you're not going to take your points? Right here, I'm just literally uh, flat zoning. And, and and we just bag shit again. He threw a C route, bro. A C route. We manned up the slots. I flatted on the outside. I left him a uh, solo coverage with an outside third. I want to say, yeah, I want to say that's what I did on that one. And, and I said pressure. So right here, just like I'm gonna just QB draw, see if I can get lucky. If not, we going into the half. Right here, I had a lane, but my uh. Lineman, bro. I'm so ready to get that nigga off my team, Bruce Matthews. It's just no good left guards have a drop set for that one left guard they dropped at 91. But he's not a huge difference from Bruce. So right here, start the quarter up, man. We right back to it, man. 
I don't feel like his dollar is going to stop me. As long as I'm clean on my reads and going through my progressions. You know what I'm saying? I have figured out it, it took a while. But I can block dollar. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people want to be stubborn with dollar. I can block dollar. I can send all my routes out in dollar. It just depends on how I'm feeling in that moment. You feed me? <clears throat> and I felt like this game specifically, they're back though. So I'm like, all right, cover four. This game specifically, I just felt like I was playing a lot better against his dollar when I blocked it. Right there we go. High ball, and this nigga got destroyed. That is the worst high ball animation. Where it feel like these niggas cascade up there slow as hell and pause and look at the world like they Superman. Get your ass down with the football, man. So right here, I'm like, all right, I'm going to just hit him with this corner route, man, because... That corner route from Casper is different. I miss so many reads right there as far as my drag routes. So we get to a fourth and two, which is my fault because I wouldn't have been to a fourth and two. Watch the read I miss, bro. It's really no excuse, but I, a lot of us do this. On fourth down, you get in a habit for looking for the short shit. If I go through my reads regular, I see Megatron streaking up the sideline. But because I stared down a drag route in that corner route, no, no, the drag route streak post too long, I missed that shit. And now I put myself in a bad position in the game because that should have been a tug instead of a turnover. I wouldn't even been in that position had I took the first drag across the middle on third down anyway. But, you know what I'm saying, can't go back in time and change it. We just got to come out here and do what we do. He was throwing that damn corner route again that was covered. Right here, I'm sending the gas at dog because I've been playing so much coverage. And I got uh, Carmichael manned up, and we, sc we, we, we scream team. Come on, man. Fourth and 32. Now, I'm going to keep it a being. He's, uh, he, he, he's, like, he's, he's a like-minded individual. Like uh, He going for it. But I'm going to keep it a buck. Um, I probably... Actually, no, nah, it's head to head. No, this is was weekend league. I, I might have punted this one. Hell, no, nah, I wouldn't have. But then right here, I just sent seven at him, bro. Uh, and, and we get to pick ED. I just put four D blues out there, man. Shaded to the outside. And then I was going to run towards anything in the middle. So we end up bagging dog up. Easy turnover. Now we just got to convert this to a touchdown. And I could easily put this game away. Because I played really good defense against his bunch. And I've, I've done a really good job offensively against his dollar. So I'm, I'm really not like crazy worried right here. Boom, just go ahead and hit that drag route. Ugh, pick up that first down. And now his frustration levels is rising. As you can see, we 17, a buck 09. Nothing crazy, but very efficient. And I'm finna officially hop up off this uh, commentary when this game over. And I'm finna go ahead and load up the, cock the Cock of Duty Modern Warfare 2. As Doggy Bone gets scored on, man. And he gets sadness in his heart and proceeds to lead the game, making me the victor. Um, Y'all can go check my weekend league. I still got two games left. I want to say I'm like, tw I'm either 21 and 2 or I'm 20 and 3. I'm going to finish Wakan League. Soon tomorrow, probably before this video is posted. But appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Hope you all enjoyed this gameplay. And I'm out of here, doggy bone. Peace.